Okay, I'm going to show you how anti-gravity works. Okay, imagine um, hang on on the rim of the metal like if you make this out of metal cylinders and the rim between the cylinders like here and here was magnetic and it was like uh, repelling each other so um the rim inside the the cylinder inside the larger cylinder rotates at the same time like that at the same time it's moving around constantly so all the way around 360 and it builds up speed and it's on a platform a more stable design but it's going around while rotating and the repelling force between that um, cylinder and that cylinder is what repels the gravity so um with this you can you can basically depending how much force or uh, you can basically make spheres like uh, and then the sphere is inside a vacuum so it's not inside like a air cylinder uh, uh, it's the sphere surrounding it is inside a vacuum so that's that's giving it the anti-gravity um su suspension like so you can you can be able to pick up weight um i'll need to think of the details but with enough spheres you can put that round a vehicle and and the vehicle should be able to start um flying in the air and then uh, i have to think of a way to pull the vehicle in certain directions but that's how you make an anti-gravity vehicle but it's with um this this is basically the anti-gravity uh, design mechanism but it's not made out of wire it's made out of metal and also remember the sphere that contains it has to have no air and has to be very cold like inside so there's a cooling outside the sphere so the sphere temperature inside has to be though it's a vacuum the temperature has to be very cold so it has to have like a freezer cooling to prevent any or uh, to take away any of the electrons from the magnetic force there's a lot of electrons which are emitted so those have to be removed otherwise you could reduce the anti-gravity effect so the cooling is essential